Melly, this is really exciting. You got a World Cup final coming up in a couple of days. How's the, how's the, how's the feel inside? Oh man, it's exciting. Um, in all honesty, right now, uh, um, I don't really want to think too much about the final. I don't want to play the game too early in my head. So right now, I just want to just um, just focus. Uh, we had day off today, so just get myself off my feet. I'm just hanging off the girls and just um, just being distracted and everything else. But back to training tomorrow. But definitely excited. Um, for the final so yeah that's really interesting so it's really you know it's it's important to keep sort of the basically just to keep the mind focused when it needs to be focused but when you don't have to have that iron focus you just basically you don't think about it yeah 100 percent. well that's just because personally i'm just a person of i don't want to play the game too early because i feel like if i do play the game too early and think about the game then once it comes to the day then i just feel so drained because i've just been thinking about it the whole week so that's why I just, you know, I don't really think too much about the game until um, it's game day and then I switch on to game mode. So, yeah. Have you always been like that? No, I haven't. Uh, the last couple of, uh, especially for Union and stuff, it's been tough thinking about the game, especially when you, um, sometimes I feel like I have pressure and on my shoulders. But just being in this league environment, it's helped me to just, you know, just play for myself and enjoy it while I can. So, yeah. Melly, where does that pressure come from? Is that what you put on yourself or is that external or is that because you just have high expectations? What's that? Oh, I think it's just myself. Eh? I've always I've always been a person of struggling, of um just believing in myself. Like obviously there's always self doubt um in the back of my mind, but it's got nothing to do with anyone else. It's just myself. Mm -hmm. Just having that feeling like, man, I've got to perform um to the best of my abilities and I sometimes I just overthink it and just doubt myself so it's just something that I'm I'm dealing with and um I guess just being in this league environment especially a world cup I've kind of learned to just you know just go out there and enjoy it while I can sure may I ask yeah. you is that something that you've um well no, I was going to say battled with it but I don't know what the right word is that something that you've had for your whole life and also does playing league and playing rugby help 100%. That's always been, I've always been that type of person to have self doubt, um, struggled with it for a bit. But um, just, I surround myself with a lot of good people, my family, my friends, who's always there for me that tells me to believe in myself and don't worry about anybody else. Um, and yeah, league, league and union does help it, especially when I'm on the field. Um, I don't think of anything else but to just do my part, do my job, and then the, the results will come with it. Melly Hufanga with us. Um, Ricky Henry has told us um, uh, that um, <clears throat> you are just such a, a legend of a player for him and that he, he really, it's not expects of you, but he knows what your standards are and what you are capable of. And what we saw the other day against England, you were magnificent. You were, just, you were so good to watch. <laughs> I appreciate the kind words. Um, I guess for me, World Cup, um, it's just massive, like, I get to come out here to England and represent not only my country, but my family. And I guess that um, just the sacrifices I've made to get to where I am today just just means so much more when I'm out there on the field, just making sure that I um, I just make every second of the game count and just give it my all, play, play each game like it's my final. So that's, that's just me. <laughs> I can see that. We can see that when we're watching you. You look as though you have an enormous amount of pride putting that jersey on. 100% like um, my journey to come to this World Cup has been not been tough but um, it was just a, like I said in my other interviews it was a risk that I was willing to take um, and I'm 100% grateful that I do have the opportunity to be here right now and I just want to live every moment and soak in everything that comes my way and I just think I'm just I'm, I'm the lucky one I feel I just feel blessed to be here to be honest is it like living a bit of a dream at the moment is it 100% like sometimes I when people ask me what's the feeling like like uh, most times I'm like man I don't even know how to feel because I'm so buzzing out that I am here at, in, in England playing the World Cup for Kiwis and it's just it's just an overwhelming feeling. Mele Hufanga is with us and the Kiwi Ferns at 2.15 New Zealand time on Sunday play Australia. Um, I want to ask you all about that Australian team obviously because we have you know you have played them previously. Um, but just, you know, just, are you allowed to, or not, are you allowed, would you like, you know, are you able to tell us a little bit about the journey that's actually brought you here? The journey? Oh, uh, uh, yep, I, I don't really mind. Got really nothing to hide. Um, I guess my journey being here, like, obviously, um, 
being in this World Cup right now, it was never part of my plan. Um, when it came the test match against Tonga and New Zealand, um, I had the chance to play for Tonga. Uh, and then I was like, knowing the fact is that Tonga is not in the World Cup, I was like, man, you know, it'll be good. It'll be such a cool feeling or good for me if I try at least make World Cup for Kiwis because Tonga is not in the World Cup. So I was like, you know what, I'm going to uh, turn down Tonga and just take that risk of, you know, just going out there, sacrificing um, playing for Tonga to play for uh, for New Zealand in the World Cup. And and what do you know, after playing FPC, got the call up, made the wider squad and just, just keep turning up to trainings. And here I am today, mm. um, World Cup. So, How yeah. cool. How cool. So, you know, the, and is it easy for you to switch from rugby to league or, or, how, or how has that transition been? Oh, because I, I played league um, back in high school as well for uh, for like a couple of years, and then I stopped, and then just playing union as well. Um, at first, uh, it wasn't easy, but when I first started playing league, man, trust me, it made me hate union only because I enjoyed it heaps. And like when I play for club rugby for um, for union, I feel like. Uh, I have a lot of responsibilities, being a captain, being a leader, being a role model and everything else. But when it comes to league, like I don't have that responsibility. Like I can just, you know, just go out there on Sundays and just play and do me. But when it comes to Saturdays playing union, um, I have that role. And then, you know, I've got to look after the team. Um, I have to think about what I have to do on the field as well. So, Yeah. Do you, do you, I mean, do you sit down and consider now with what the Black Ferns have done? I mean, all the publicity that they've got, the money that they're going to obviously earn, the, the you know, the, 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 this kind of celebrity status that they're getting at the moment. I mean, was there a chance that you could have made that, that uh, Black Fern side? Uh, I'm not too sure. Like, uh, right now, like, I love the fact is that women's rugby is growing not only in union, but also in league. Yeah. And, like, in all honesty, like, man, I'm super proud of the Black Ferns. But I've always had, like, if I did have, if I had to turn back time, I'll definitely, I reckon I could, I could make that black friends. But obviously, God has put me in other um, pathways and he's brought me to um, where I am today. So I think I, I think I like where I am right now in this league space. So yeah, I've just always been that person when it comes to black friends. I don't have to be a black friend to wear that black jersey. And I'm just... Yeah, that's just my mentality right now and just super proud of the Black Ferns and I'll always support them no matter where I am. When you play, you were saying earlier that you play like it's uh, your last game. You're so physical and you're so strong and you you know you use your legs and you power through people and that. Do you love all that kind of stuff, that physical contact stuff? Um, I, I think I, I like it. Like, um, But like in all honesty, I don't really think about that during the game and and stuff in there like people tell me and everything but like just on the field and that like I just know I just got to do my part do my job and and just run like catch their ball and just run that's all I gotta do and just run support my teammates if I have to so yeah Oh, it's, you're, it's awesome. You're yeah, awesome to watch. I mean, you really are. Let's, let's go back to Australia then because we lost 10-8 in that pool match and now the final. They had a big blowout score against Papua New Guinea. So I don't know what to read into that. What is Ricky telling you about them as an opponent? Oh, uh, he hasn't really said much, but I know that we just got to have to just um, play our game and not worry too much about them. Um, and we just... Just got to wait till Saturday for that final. Mm. But I know 100% we just got to play our game. Don't worry about anybody any, anybody else but ourselves and, and our team. So, yeah. When you say play our game, <clears throat> because the Kiwi men, we have a certain style of way we like to play our rugby league. We like to give the ball some air. We like to move it around a bit. We like to use our skills. I mean, I think the words are these days, express yourselves. Is that the kind of same mentality that the Kiwi ferns take? Um, hundred percent. Um, spread the ball as well, but um, we're also physical as well. Um, but yeah, similar. Similar. And so you had a day off today. So, and how does it pan out then between now and when this final is? Is there full on training, or do you kind of taper the training down? Um, I think we just pretty much just have to iron all our our structure and our game plan and everything. Just make sure everything is is clear and making sure that everyone on the team knows what we're doing and just pretty much just 
making sure that we're all on the same page on all our trainings. So, yeah. Do you have your family or your friends over there? Is anyone there with you as well as the team? Nah, I've got no one here. Oh. My family's not here. They're supporting uh -huh. me from, from New Zealand. But I do have my friends here like Netha and Amber. Um, so and you're doing cool. lots of FaceTime and Skype calls back home? Oh, all the time. Um, after the games, uh, my family's the first people I always call after the games. Um, they're super proud of me, and I can't wait to see them missing home at the moment. But, yeah, they're the first people I always call after the games um, and talk to them before game as well, just mm. to let them know that I love them. And then, yeah. Talk to what them a dream game. come true. Imagine that moment if the final whistle goes and you're a world champion. Man, I don't know what that would feel like, but I imagine it would be like feeling like you own the world. Yeah, one hundred percent. I'll prob I'll probably have no words as well. But uh, if we do, that'll be an amazing, uh, amazing feeling. I probably wouldn't want to go back to the sheds and just soak in that moment in that stadium. But I think I just gotta have to just wait till that Saturday. <laughs> yeah, look, thank you so much for giving us so much time. I can tell you that, look, there's a heck of a lot of interest back here uh, as well. And I don't know whether you, 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 all your girls know that, but um, there's a lot of support back here as well. I wish you all the very best and thank you so much again. Run hard, play hard. Okay, thank you so much for your time as well.